One cool new feature that I added specifically for Spark Color um, is in the uh, color switch activation. So in all previous releases of Spark Color, including the original Spark Color and Spark Color 2, up to this point, uh, the way to change the color is by twisting the wrist. Um, and for this example, I have it set really easy to twist, as you can see. Um, however, I did do a lot of work uh, to make to prevent this from happening while you're swinging it. However, some people still find that after swinging it, it's too easy for them to twist to change the color. So what I've done um, in the new SC2 R2 release is make it so that it's configurable now if you want to just twist the wrist or if you want to hold down the aux button and twist at the same time. Um, the latter being obviously the choice for those who like to duel or um, just find that they, they swing it a lot in a way that twists uh, and causes the motion to happen. Uh, so in this saber, only on the sixth font I have holding and twisting. So let's go to S. So this is the font. So now you can see, twisting only makes the swing. But holding and twisting is what changes the color. So this, uh, this ability should allow more configuration for those who want to uh, basically prevent the color change from happening when they're just swinging it. One really great feature that's specific to the S2 R2 release, so specific for Spark 2, uh, is the one button support. Um, so I've added support in Spark that you can configure and install with only one button and still be able to um, access every feature. And there's two modes to this. The first mode is you can get every feature but only with one font. Um, the second mode is it allows you with motion by using the dual face twisting to be able to get to every font and even the Saber track. Uh, so let's go through this. Note that I didn't, uh, I didn't have a, and there you can see that I did the motion enough that it actually uh, told me my font. Um, I, I do actually have two buttons technically installed, uh, but note there's no tricks. I just, I don't have a Saber where I have one installed, so just watch that I'll only use this button, and this button really does nothing right now. Um, so you turn this on, it's basically, uh, Momentary hit. Uh, now, with one button mode on, uh, the blaster block is actually performed uh, by a tap of the main button. And of course, the easy, easy blaster works. Uh, and, then, and then holding down the main button turns the saber off. Uh, now, the only way to get to the lock then is by doing the easy, uh, the easy lock, which is basically you do a clash and then hold down the main button. I can do a clap here and actually trigger it. There we go. So let's turn it off and let's then show you get to your phone. So I have the motion enabled here. So see I can get to my second font this way. This shows basically that uh, this is the uh, way to be able to install with just a single button uh, and get all the features with Spark 2. And now I'm proud to bring you the, uh, late, the last feature of the SC2 R2 and S2 R2 release. And that is the uh, cross saber and X saber functionality. Uh, so the basic cross guard saber uh, functionality, uh, this is present on both Spark and Spark Color. Uh, this allows you to basically run a main blade and two side blades uh, with a delayed retract, uh, you know, extension for the side blades uh, on your saber. Whereas the uh, advanced X saber functionality does a bit more. So let's go over uh, this saber with the basic um, cross guard saber. So as you can see, uh, this has the uh, ramp effect and the knees come out. So let's do that again. Uh, and this, again, this feature is present on both uh, 
Spark and Spark Color. Another really awesome feature uh, with X Saber, with, with the Spark Color 2 uh, and soon to be Igniter 2, is the ability to actually turn these blades completely off if you want to and only use them during effects. So here you can see this has the correct uh, you know, extension, it works correct. But my next one, I'll just turn these off for the main blade. Uh, but you can see they do come on for the effect. And you'll also see that the, the extension will work correctly, it's just a single blade right now. Finally, with X Saber, um, if all these features weren't enough, and you may have actually noticed it with the flash effect, but you do actually get a full RGB color mixing um, with the, all three of the blades uh, retaining the functionality of the two external blades. So let's see that. So this one's the single blade I have set. You can see that's actually a, a greenish effect. Let's go to my next one. Whoops. So you can see now I have a green blade with the orange effect. Now let's go to my next one. So now I have purple. And I've got a blue. So now I've got blue with sort of an orange effect. Meridian-ish with a purple effect. And again, the correct uh, functionality of the blade is preserved. The last feature I want to go over is in the configuration editor itself. Uh, and this feature is going to be present in all versions, uh, Spark 2, Spark Color 2, and Igniter 2. And this is related to the uh, X Saber functionality that was shown uh, in the previous section, uh, and it will also work for the standard crossguard Saber functionality for the Spark. So you may have noticed that the uh, output sound, when the side blades are engaged, uh, it kind of makes two output sounds, a secondary one delayed to match the, um, the second blades coming out. And what this actually is, is uh, so if we go into here, say, in the output, you see I have two sounds. I have a D out and an out. So D out is the one that actually has two sounds uh, mixed in. The secondary ones is about 500 milliseconds uh, delayed uh, and it's, it's a little bit quieter. Uh, and this is, uh, these two files are necessary for the X uh, Saber feature so it can know if you, you know, have the blade on or not to play the correct one. Well the problem is, is you'd think like, oh well, uh, now I'm you know, all these fonts that exist that are awesome don't have this, so if I want to use them, I either have to manually create this or wait for that uh, person that made the font to add them into their font and update their font set. Uh, well, neither of these is true, uh, because with the new configuration editor, I actually created this Create Dual Outwaves functionality. Um, it'll just take every out um, file in a font and generate the uh, dual font. It'll auto-mix it in at the correct delay time uh, that that font has set when the hum is delayed, so it'll, for that font it'll match up perfectly when the uh, side blades come out. So all you have to do is basically then open a font, so we'll open this font 1, uh, and you can see like for font 1 I have not created uh, any D out, I haven't manually done it or anything, so this is empty. So if we go here, uh, now we can just go create dual out waves, and you'll see they popped in here. Um, and this is great, so now this one is auto-created. As you can see, this will have the two. Um, whereas the original out will still just be the single. And this is ready to go for uh, Spark Color Tuning Night or Two. For Spark, if you're using the basic uh, cross guard, you would have to basically just rename the D outs to out and either delete these or, or rename these. Hopefully you can see that this is a really uh, great functionality that uh, allows any font to be automatically converted to use with the new uh, X Saber feature. <laughs> <laughs>